Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So I think today's series are more like a throwback series, but I think it's equally important for you to understand as well. Uh, because uh, as I have been growing succulents for almost past seven years, I think it becomes much easy for me to explain to you guys like how long it takes for succulents to grow. Uh, unfortunately, I started making videos only a couple of years back, probably two years back, uh, but I have been growing succulents way uh, back in time. Uh, so those days I could not document a lot of these videos but today as I'm able to document the videos I have archived a lot of videos so I'm able to show you how long certain things can take. Now for example over here I have my uh, Havartia Limifolia. Uh, I will put it on the screen first so you will get a fair idea. Uh, I'm going to put it on the right hand side when I was repotting this succulent a couple of years back. I will put the date as well and how long it's been. So this is how the uh, Havartia limifolia looked. This was the first repotting that I was doing of the succulent. Now uh, what happened is when I shifted over here, the succulent was put out in uh, direct afternoon sunlight. Uh, so as you can see, these were all the burn marks and uh, then uh, you know uh, the sun's direction changed and then it started getting only morning direct sunlight. Now because of that morning direct sunlight, you can see the succulent has completely turned a chocolate brown in color which is not a very good sign for this succulent. But now after I noticed it, I kept it under uh, indirect bright light and now you can see uh, the new growth is green in color. It's about to bloom as well. You can see this is the bloom. Now ideally uh, uh, the uh, Havartiyas, they also tend to get a bloom right in the center but this is not a terminal bloom. Uh, they usually tend to put out one bloom which is a very thin little bloom. I'll put the picture on the screen you will be able to see how it tends to look like when it grows. So they usually tend to grow very close or at times almost to the center of uh, the succulent but it's not a terminal bloom like how it happens in other succulents. Uh, the terminal blooms usually start from the center of the uh, succulent the, on the crown area but in these they don't uh, basically uh, create any issue because these are again uh, polycarpic succulents so they do not die after blooming they continue to bloom multiple times and still continue to grow healthy now uh, this was my Havartia limifolia it took a very long time for it to uh, put out pups but now you can see this is the first pup again it got burnt because of that uh, uh, direct sunlight you can see it had turned brown but the pup looks quite healthy this is the first pup and then uh, there is a second pup over here uh, so now the succulent is being kept in indirect bright light you can see the new growth that is coming up that is uh, more green in color i think this is a good comparison video you can see both the shades on the same plant now this is because of direct sunlight if you're going to put your succulent out in direct sunlight this is how it's going to be and if you keep continuing to keep it out in direct sunlight this will start to get burnt like this it will start to break and it will fall off it will turn very brittle and it will break off and now you can see after it has been kept in indirect bright light you can see the new growth is more green in color so you basically have the two versions what happens in direct sunlight and in indirect bright light indirect bright light is something that this succulent prefers and it's going to do quite well in indirect bright light now i'm not going to be separating the pups right away this is another pup that i had separated some time back probably uh, let's say i think three years back so probably because this was being given a little bit much more better care compared to this pot uh, this was completely ignored and then it was out in direct sunlight while i was away so it got hampered a lot but when i had separated one of the offset uh, this is almost uh, three to four years old so you can see how slow they tend to grow but uh, this was the recent pups that they had put out so this was the older one which i had separated once it had reached a decent size now uh, i would say this is a decent size of pup but i would still say do not pull it out right away wait for some more time if you tend to see that they are of this size uh, wait for another two or three months uh, once you see this and then you can separate it because even though these are decent size I can take them out right now but as they are a little bit damaged uh, I will wait for them to grow a little bit more uh, few more centimeters and then I will separate them from the mother plant but then uh, this one is the one that I had separated long back it's kept in indirect bright light again this one also was exposed to direct sunlight that's why the leaves are a little bit more darker in color but it's slowly reverting back to green as you can see uh, because it's now being kept in indirect bright light so you can see this is how the plant tends to react so as we have spoken about this earlier as well Havartias do not like a lot of direct sunlight they prefer indirect but bright light they will do quite well so these were uh, the uh, Havartia limifolia 
this is another variety of uh, the Havartya. You might have seen this in the last videos. So this one also is doing quite well. It's kept an indirect bright light. So you can see the colors are very green in color. But if I'm going to expose it to direct sunlight, it will again turn the same color like this. So you have to be extremely careful. Now, uh, this succulent is getting a little bit stretched. Uh, it's not supposed to have such thin leaves. You can see uh, it almost looks like an aloe vera because uh, it is getting stretched that's the reason why you can see the leaves are very very narrow it's supposed to have a little bit more broader leaves you might have seen in my other video it was a little bit broader so most probably uh, the indirect bright light is not enough i have to give a little bit more of indirect bright light but currently it's doing well but it's little stretched so this is how it tends to look like so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.